character, group stayed together, connected. Wasn't pretty, but we got the W. What happened to those lads? Listen, two seconds of regulation play. Just all up to. We turned it over. Um, I gotta go back and look at the tape. I haven't seen the tape yet. Um, but to, just we turned it over. Just gotta get the ball in. And uh, unfortunately, we turned it over. And then uh, to come back and um, you know I had a uh, breakdown uh, with one of the switches on the, when they took and got the lob. So all things that are fixable and uh, correctable, uh, but just mistakes you know down the end uh, to send the game into overtime. Once they got the overtime, Reggie did two big threes and also C Wood got some five points. Yeah, I thought C Wood was great tonight on both ends, uh, and then being able to play through him. Uh, there down the stretch, but I, before that all took place, I thought Hardy, I thought didn't you know didn't have a great first half, but came back in the second half and stayed aggressive, got downhill and DP you know cleaned up a lot of those misses, and uh, if he didn't clean them up, he got to the free throw line, and so that's that was big uh, for Hardy. I thought Josh we played him almost the whole game. Uh, to be able to play both ends of the floor, um, I thought you know he did a great job. Um, when you look at Wright, played the minutes, I thought it was a team effort. Everybody who participated helped us win that game tonight. Um, but again, some mistakes there that we got to clean up. Uh, but I, I thought the group, you know, stayed connected even when we were down late. It was easy to fold going into uh, overtime with just the mistakes that we made at the end. With everything that's, that's been happening, obviously you guys on a losing streak, two stars are sitting. When, when they get that alley oop the four so time, it's going to be fine. It's just the way basketball can be. It, it, it's, uh, you just have to you know, continue to stay positive, uh, keep coaching, keep uh, putting guys in a position to be successful. It's just game basketball is about mistakes. And if you make the mistakes at the wrong time and you can capitalize on it, then it puts you ahead. If you are the, the, per the team that's making the mistakes, it'll put you behind. And, uh, we made two mistakes there at the end. Um, it wasn't where we were trying to make the mistakes. Uh, it just happens, you know. As much as we we look at them as numbers, they're human, and uh, and San Antonio took advantage of that. How many customers did you say in your breath? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't normally cuss, so um, I don't. I don't. I, <laughs> I didn't have time for it, but I also thought, you know, with the overtime, we we needed to. Um, you know, be able to regroup and I, with the young players that we have out there in a, in a, in a and I don't want to say a pressure situation, but in a challenge situation, I thought they responded in a positive way. Um, and I thought C. Wood did too. I thought everyone, again, uh, DP, Maxi, those guys did a great job of staying together, uh, even when things weren't going well for us. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, Hardy and Josh aren't scared. You know, I think you look at just being able to run the offense. They started to channel five, the, the pick and roll, and Hardy was able to beat it or he was able to get it to see Wood or the, the big rolling and letting the big, uh, you know, determine what happens next. I think that's just maturity. Uh, also, just reps going through it. Um, those guys have handled the situation, getting to the basket, um, looking to score, but also looking to, you know, make the right play. Um, and they, these guys have grown up really fast here in the last couple of weeks. You mentioned uh, Christian, he had some foul trouble, but then there, crunch time, he did a good job of avoiding that six foul. Yeah, I thought, again, he, he did a great job of uh, coming up with rebounds uh, for us, uh, understanding he had five fouls, and then being on the offensive end playing, a lot of times he has a small on him, so you got to be careful of the offensive foul. So I thought he did a great job of, of receiving the uh, double team, uh, being able to play out of the double team, but also, you know, kind of old school, playing big, big pick and roll. I thought he was able to score, but also find DP on the roll. It looks like the game was getting away from you guys. You were down now with five minutes to go with White scoring nine straight points. What was he able to do to get over? Uh, he rebounded the misses. <laughs> you know, I thought, again, uh, he did a great job of rolling with the double teams and the, the channel fives and the pick and roll, being able to catch and not just uh, finish, but get to the free throw line and make the free throws because those are things that we've struggled too is 
being able to make the free throws down the stretch, and I thought he did a great job of getting us back into the game. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. How uh, DP does the little things during the game, but tonight he also did the big things, big rebounds, mm -hmm. lots of points. What do you think of his performance? Um, man, he was, he was on one, you know? In the second half, he turned into a parent superhero, and uh, it was awesome. It was awesome to see. It was like he took over, and we really needed it. You know, uh, he was dominating in the in the paint. And uh, you want to speak any any more on just your own performance, Dwight? Your turn. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, he turned into the Hulk. I'd say in the second half, it was it was cool. It was cool. There was more uh, like two big lineups uh, throughout uh, the game today. Uh, what did you uh, see in those? Uh, like, what do you like about those lineups? For them or for us? Uh, for you, like playing with uh, like Dwight and uh, you know like Christian Wood, and then also Maxi as well, like kind of together throughout the game. Yeah, um, I mean it's it's great. You know, uh, Maxi and Dwight. You know, they both have different styles of game. Playing with, when Maxi's out there, you know he stretches the floor, and he can also you know play in the paint too. And you know he played a big part in that. Um, you know, on our win tonight, I thought he had a great vert at the end of the game. Just didn't go our way. But, um, you know, Maxi does a lot of the little things and uh, really helps our team. And then obviously, you know, Dwight, Dwight was Dwight tonight, so it was awesome. It seemed the offense succeeded a lot, like with the two bigs playing out of horn sets. Um, what do you kind of like about having two bigs when you're playing out of those? Uh, um, it, you know, it, it, the, it, it creates so many options, you know. And, you know, Dwight's a good passer. Maxi's a good passer. So to be able to have that, uh, at a big man, you know, and, and being a big man, it helps a guard out a lot because, uh, you know, you can slip, you can come off it, and, you know, they're rolling hard. They're going to roll hard to the rim every single time. And, uh, you know, it just it, it creates a lot of options because then if the corner pulls in, then it's a three in the corner too. So it just creates options. It seemed like an overtime Christian Wood, like, kind of drew a lot of attention playing out of that. Uh, what did you see particularly, like, in the overtime uh, from him, kind of being the, like, central focus? Yeah. Sense? I mean, if somebody, if something's working, you know, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to go, you know, it's just as simple. Like, if, if they can't guard a certain thing, you know, you keep going back to it. And if it's working, it's working, you know, for anything, no matter when it is in the game, you know, first quarter or overtime. Once the game got to overtime, you guys got on that 13-0 run. What were you able to do to take control of the game at that point? I think defense. I mean, I think we were able to string together like four stops in a row. Can't remember, but you know, we're talking well on defense. We we're moving, you know, rotating, staying in front of our man, and you know, we knew that we needed to win, and you know, we came out and gave it our all in overtime. Once they got into overtime, I mean, what was the, the mood in the huddle because the last few seconds of regulation was kind of chaotic. Yeah, I mean, just moving on. You know, it's it's five more minutes in the game. It's a tie game, so why act like we're down? You know. Um, you know, it's part of it. Uh, I mean, obviously we were a little, you know, we, th we thought Maxi had a great vertic verticality, but you know, we move on, and we, you know, our goal is to win. You know, overtime. You know, for 10 seconds or so, we're probably a little upset, but now it's it's about trying to switch out of that and make sure that we win the game. Josh, you mentioned that tonight you need to find ways to remain involved when uh, Luke and Kyrie get back. What, what are some things that you think you can do when you know you're not going to necessarily have, uh, you know, primary ball? Yeah, um, I mean, I think, you know, just continue to run in transition, running as hard as I can because, you know, either I'm going to get the ball my, or I'm going to create something, you know, other teams know I, I like to run. So, um, you know, run, draw players, and it creates either me to get open or somebody else to get open. Uh, you know, push the ball on offensive rebounds, you know, try to, you know, push the pace a little more. Um, but, you know, overall, just, you know, I'll continue to watch film and, and where I can you know, help help them out. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think I'm looking forward to both of them having like, uh, both of them coming back, and it's just about continuing to win now. You know, so yeah. I mean, he's very you know he's he's a re very you know he's relaxed you know, and I think that you know proves to his, you know, Hall of Fame point. He's a Hall of Fame point guard, you know, one of the best point guards of all time. You can tell by the way he, he coaches that he has that demeanor that, you know, it's, you know, not it's a lot of coaches, you know, they're they're up, you know, they're tight, they're, they're panicking, but he's very relaxed. He sees plays, he sees what's open. He knows what's working. 
um, you know, he sees Seawood is, is doing a great job and, you know, we, we get Seawood the ball, you know, whether that's me bringing the ball up or Jaden bringing the ball up. Our goal is to get whoever's hot the ball and he sees that um, and he's very relaxed and, you know, and he was, you know, he's the first first person to tell us, you know, as soon as the it, it went into overtime, you know, just relax, breathe, you know, so it's, it's good to have, you know, a coach, coach like that and it's, it's very motivating for the rest of the team. Have you ever played for an uptight coach in the NBA? <laughs> <laughs> never. I've never, never, never. Sean Miller, college. <laughs> Shout out to Coach Miller. Man. Yeah. Thank you.